Live from the bank's recording studio, this is Braves News. Why was Cinderella so bad at soccer? She kept running away from the ball. <laughs> Good morning. I'm Eli. And I'm Garrison. Today is Monday, October 14th, 2024. It's a B-Day, fellas. Attention all seniors. There's a senior class meeting today in the high school cafeteria at 10.45 a.m. Track workouts begin last Wednesday. There are two sessions, one at 8 a.m. with Coach Frank. All events meet at the middle school gym and another at 3.15 p.m. with Coach Z for those interested in throwing events. Stay up to date on the Team Sports U app. If you need to get connected, please contact Coach Z. Have you ever wanted to travel the world with your friends? If you do, you're in luck. There are two opportunities to travel with your friends and other students like you, offered through EF Tours. This coming March, we will be going to Germany, Switzerland, uh, and Austria. In March of 2026, join us for a tour of Japan. An information meeting about both trips will be Wednesday, October 16th at 6.30 in the BHS cafeteria. Come find out all of the details about how to jump on board one of these amazing trips. RSVP with Miss Hatcher and Miss Wickstrom, and don't forget to bring your parents to the meeting. Field anchor Malia Stewart will now take over and tell us about the cross-country team so far. The cross-country team is full of committed, passionate students who are doing really good this year. On Friday the 11th, the boys and girls ran up the Rose City Invite in Portland, where the boys team placed third and the girls team placed eighth. Ten athletes ran their best times ever, and two athletes ran their best times this season. Senior Max Bear and co-captain of the cross-country team shared his prediction on how the boys team will do this year at state. Our team is looking amazing. We're looking to be first or second in state, and we're trying to win state this year. And co-captain Sophie Schoolmeister shared her opinion about the girls' team. Uh, I feel like that we're, I feel like we're the best team that Banks has ever had. And then, are you thinking that we'll make it to state this year? Hopefully. Both teams are looking good heading into the end of their season, and we're all excited to see how they compete. This has been Malia Stewart, feature reporter for Braves News. Great job at the meet last Friday, everyone. The Hillsborough School to Career events has started. If you are looking for a great way to hear from industry leaders on specific career paths, make sure to sign up with Miss V for one of the events this year. All events are posted in the hall outside the library in Mr. Rice's office. November events so far are cosmetology, early childhood edu education, and information and technology. These are generally through Zoom sessions where you can sit in the library and listen to one of the events. See Miss V in the library for more information. Are you looking forward to cheering on the volleyball team as they continue their season? I am. Let's turn it over to the field anchors Reed Preston and Justice Reese to learn more. With fall, you typically think of football, but the girls' volleyball season is underway. Kylie and Mackenzie share with us how the season is going. It's going good, like definitely better than last year. Our team has been like meshing pretty well together and there's definitely a lot of talent. They've been working hard this season to contribute to the pride of the Banks Braves. Our most recent game was against Warrington and we won 3-0 to zero and our team played really good. Their next home game is Thursday, October 17th at 6 p.m. Please come support your Philly Volleyball members. The theme for their next home game is 4th of July, so show up and show your school spirit. And now here's Malia Stewart, Braves News Sport Anchor. Thanks, Garrison. Now for a recap of previous varsity sporting events. Girls soccer beat Westside Christian 9-1 on Tuesday and also played Trout Lake on Thursday for their senior night. Boys soccer lost 1-7 to Tillamook on Wednesday. Volleyball lost 0-3 to Corbett on Wednesday and on Thursday they played Yamhill Carlton. The cross country team participated in a race at Rose City Golf Course on Friday. And last but not least, on Friday, football played Kennedy. As for upcoming events, Check the graphic and be sure to participate in the themes and support your fellow student athletes. Back to you, Garrison and Eli. 
Happy birthday to Henry Koch and Emma Vanderzanen. And also, shout out to G for reminding us about Senor's 61st birthday. Thanks for watching and go Braves!